In the chaotic whirlwind of life, we often find ourselves grappling with an array of challenges and uncertainties. The constant struggle to navigate through obstacles can leave us feeling overwhelmed, seeking solace and guidance. It is during these moments of unrest that the power of calmness emerges as a remarkable ally, providing us with both a potent weapon and a source of spiritual sustenance. In our pursuit of finding solutions to the myriad of problems that beset us, calming our minds becomes an essential key to unlocking the path towards clarity and serenity. Finding the solution to all your problems lies in calming down. When you achieve complete calmness, there's no time for anything else. Even karma or illusions lose their grip. Stay calm and free from worries about the situation and its outcomes, including today and tomorrow, and everything will fall into place. To nurture your spiritual self, refrain from reacting or trying to influence others. Instead of fixating on the future, embrace the eternal present. Refrain from engaging with the world and avoid immediate reactions to your body or thoughts. The journey towards inner calmness isn't about perfection or unattainable constant tranquility. Rather, it involves daily acceptance and self-awareness. Moments of turmoil and challenges are opportunities to cultivate calmness, not hindrances in your path. Embrace these experiences as part of personal growth, and you'll discover lasting peace that permeates every aspect of your life. Cultivate your ability for mental serenity and observation. Acknowledge your emotions without immediately reacting to them. A calm mind is akin to a still lake, reflecting its surroundings, while a turbulent lake distorts reflections. Observe without attachment, soothing your mind. Rather than attempting to alter your thoughts, let them pass, leaving them behind. Calmness doesn't entail avoiding or suppressing emotions. Instead, it means allowing them to flow and observing them with compassion and detachment. Embrace your emotions as valuable messengers, yet don't let them dictate your actions. Acknowledge their presence, allow them to arise, and then allow them to dissipate like clouds in the sky. Cultivating this skill of gentle presence will lead to emotional equilibrium and inner serenity. Don't disregard your emotions or blindly accept your thoughts. Simply observe them. Avoid surrendering to anger or uncertainty. Understand that they originate in your mind. The mind alone is accountable for anger, stubbornness, desire for control, and pain. By mastering your thoughts, these emotional reactions will eventually subside. Cultivate gratitude as a daily practice, directing your attention to the blessings and gifts present in your life. This redirection can divert you from unnecessary worries and longings. Take moments in the morning or at day's end to reflect on the things you're grateful for, fostering a positive outlook. Find beauty in even the smallest things and ground yourself in the present, where true peace resides. Peace of mind is the key to enlightenment. Awareness is synonymous with calmness. It remains unaffected by external factors, perpetually at peace and joyful. All conditioning occurs within the mind. Attempting to fix it is futile. Relying solely on your own thoughts to solve problems will only inflate your ego and exacerbate issues. Instead, let things flow smoothly by learning to calm your mind. Find contentment in accepting your true identity as nothing, recognizing that you don't need to achieve anything while overcoming doubts, anger, or fears clouding your mind. Life brims with happiness. Promptly redirect your thoughts and do whatever it takes to escape the arising mind. Regardless of what your mind suggests, don't succumb to fear, doubt, or anger. Recognize that your thoughts are not your friends, 
They constantly attempt to deceive you. Avoid becoming fixated on your thoughts, even if they seem to transcend everything. The key to experiencing joy, happiness, and bliss lies in your thoughts, and you don't necessarily need to set aside special time for meditation to feel them. These positive emotions can be cultivated while performing various tasks, whether at work or on the go. It's simply a matter of knowing your core identity. As far as my understanding goes, the rest of the universe appears to be a product of your imagination. The movie you see might depict cowardly acts, but it's essential to remember that it's just a movie. In life, taking a neutral stance allows you to observe events unfolding without becoming emotionally entangled. If you're seeking something, you'll discover it only within yourself. Everything you perceive externally reflects your internal processes. If you're the creator of this world, then the path to awakening lies in silence rather than analyzing and categorizing things as good or bad. It involves daily abandonment of wounds, dogmas, and concepts. The supreme truth is found in letting go of becoming and embracing unbecoming. Empty your mind of all things, and once it's empty, you'll find fulfillment in emptiness, as it reveals your true nature. If you need to let go, do so completely, detaching from your body, mind, self, and everything else. You won't become a stagnant being. Instead, you'll find contentment if you follow this advice in your present actions. And if you pay careful attention to my words, you'll experience greater happiness. Your true nature or realization lies in recognizing nothingness. Disregard my advice if you wish and continue your analysis, conclusions, and quest for answers about life's happenings. But if you choose to let go, do so entirely, transcending the notions of body, mind, self, and life. Embrace this advice, and you'll find a deeper sense of contentment. Believing in your perfect and ever-changing self, understanding that nothing more exists beyond this moment, and acknowledging the eternal oneness bring cause for rejoicing. Within this oneness, your consciousness exists. By tracing back to the origin of your individuality, you connect with the universal self, pure witnessing consciousness, and awaken to your inherent divinity. Silence is the swiftest route to this realization. The most potent response is non-response. Avoid clinging to ideas or the fluctuations of the mind. Reactions follow thoughts and emotions like rain falling on the mind. Individuals may not realize how their thoughts and emotions dictate their actions, leaving their minds and heart beyond their control. Focusing excessively on the future consumes your attention and energy, leading to a multitude of hypothetical scenarios and non-existent solutions. This illusion can trap individuals, labeling others as deluded while unknowingly being victims of their own imaginary worlds. Despite the pain caused by mental attacks, a simple solution exists. Though challenging and uncomfortable initially, the most effective response is no response. Believe in yourself, let go of the need to control, and overcome reactivity. Understanding the dynamics of consciousness plays a pivotal role in achieving rapid results. It's crucial to acknowledge your own strength, as self-awareness holds the power to nurture and restore. Healing of the mind and body commences when you align with them and cease reacting to external stimuli. Observe your internal processes without entangling or reacting to them. Allowing your emotions to flow is actually beneficial for the situation. If initially challenging, continue working on non-reactivity. Remember, it's not a mental challenge but rather a practice in relaxation and self-assurance. 
your body might experience unfamiliar sensations as your mind and programming may find this process daunting. However, you'll soon realize that your mind and body don't define you. Upon releasing the desire to control everything, you'll recognize your lack of influence over matters. Consciousness generates its own thoughts, while bodily feelings come and go autonomously. Life flows naturally, and attempts to control it lead to pain. Once you let go of control, everything transforms. Embrace the power of non-response rather than seeking answers in life. Redirect your vitality away from unproductive matters. Embrace solitude and allow life storms to pass. Nothing is permanent. While everything else constantly changes, your consciousness, or divine consciousness, remains unaltered. Focus on your awareness, avoiding reactivity to transient mental states. Recognize yourself as a calm, infinite observer of life not its subject. You are akin to the unmovable center of space, and everything else passes through you. Don't concern yourself with convincing others. Embrace your authentic self and delve into self-discovery. Practicing self-compassion is an act of love and care for yourself. Understand that you are human and continually evolving. Don't demand perfection but embrace all your imperfections. Treat yourself with the same kindness you offer others when confronting challenges. Self-compassion wields significant power in fostering inner calmness and cultivating a healthy, loving relationship with oneself. Remember that the journey towards inner calmness is unique for each individual, lacking a predetermined path. Explore various practices, finding what resonates with you. Be open to adjustments and adaptations, allowing your journey to calmness to be fluid and personal. My dear companion, if you are with me in this very moment, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering support. Your thoughts hold great value, and your comments are the ties that connect us. Your presence on this transformative journey is deeply appreciated. May this expedition bring tranquility to your mind, nourishment to your heart, and a profound embrace of the beauty and serenity within you. Thank you for being a part of this shared experience.